Flamey O'Hotman, the director of episodes 1 and 2 for Netflix Avatar The Last Airbender, gave us recently a really good idea of what to expect in the first main scene in episode 1. I'm going to talk you through today exactly what he said and explain what I think he's talking about. So this is what Michael Goy said, who's the executive producer and director on Netflix Avatar The Last Airbender. On this show I'm currently executive producing, directing and shooting for Netflix Avatar The Last Airbender. Much of the show is shot on the largest virtual production stage in the world. Side note, this is actually referring to Pixamondo's 3000 LED panel studio that Avatar is being filmed in, and it's the same technology the Mandalorian has used to create the amazing visuals in that show. So going back to what Michael Goy said, the visual effects artists working on the volume images are top tier in their field, and the reality that they can achieve is truly astounding, but I felt it was important to keep an element of unreality to make the results more organic. And so, for the very first shot on the first day of filming, which was a shot of a boat with two passengers getting swept into a massive ice cave on a wave of water and then crashing into an ice shelf, I added a bit of magic. Okay, let's hit the pause button right here on what Michael was saying, and look at this, because this is a big teaser. He's essentially just described what the opening scene looks like, and I think we know exactly what he's talking about. You can see he describes a boat with two passengers. This has got to be Sokka and Katara at the start, when they're on the small boat, probably fishing exactly as they were in the animated series. The ice cave sounds new. Both the animation and even the last Airbender movie were all out in the open rather than inside a cave. Although, by cave, he could just mean those massive ice planes we saw either side of the boat in the animated series. In the last Airbender movie, we know Katara and Sokka were walking on the ice plane rather than on a boat, so this could be a good sign that Netflix Avatar The Last Airbender is sticking closer to the animated source material rather than trying to copy the live action movie. And that's probably a good thing because let's face it, the movie didn't really do the source material any justice. And for the final bit of the teaser, he then says they crashed into an ice shelf, which I'm assuming is the ice shelf where Upper and Aang are frozen in the sphere. So in essence, the director here has just described the first iconic scene where Katara and Sokka find Aang and Upper, kicking off the events of Avatar The Last Airbender. And I think this has got to be positive because it shows they're definitely trying to stick closer to the source material in the animated series. Now let me go back to what else Michael said, because I think it gives us a good idea of how creative they're trying to be with bringing Avatar the last airbender to life. So continue on, he says the ice cave walls were in virtual production, the ice shelf was a practical set piece, and the wave of water was a four foot long trough placed in the foreground of the camera with a split diopter filter in front of the lens. Two special effects technicians dumped buckets of water in the trough as grips and stunt riggers pulled the boat on cables across the floor. The resulting image combined the elements of different specialities to create a new reality that enhanced the fantasy of what was happening. In an early production meeting I proposed doing the shot this way with the assurance that I'd done it before. I'd never done it before. It just seems like it would work in theory, and it seemed like it would be fun. And that's all the bit I wanted to show you from his interview because I think it gives us two things, a really good idea of what the opening scene's going to be and how close it's going to be to the source material in the animated series, and two, it shows us that they're being creative with how this is being filmed. And that could definitely be a good thing because sometimes when you do creative, innovative things that haven't really been done before, it can create amazing visuals that just look and feel awesome and really do this series justice. Anyway, I just wanted to share with this to help build your excitement. I'm hoping the trailer isn't too far away now for Netflix series because it's going to be awesome. By the way, the interview in this video was by studentfilmmakers.com and I'll put the full interview in the description. For now though, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you later.